Welcome to Moons of Madness. This is a horror game made by Rock Pocket Games and published by Funcom. I know almost nothing about it. I figured it'd be more exciting if I go in not knowing anything about it, really. Let's start a new game. Oh, uh, by the way, if I sound really stuffy and my voice doesn't sound very good, that's because I'm still recovering from a cold. So I played for all of 20 seconds. I just got to this scene here and moved around just to test the controls and check settings. I didn't actually really look at anything in the room even. home. 77.5 million kilometers away. One day, happy birthday to me. To do, turn off sprinklers, oxygenator diagnostics, tune bio gauge. Chess wins. Me for Declan too. Deimos. Is that a planet? Phobos. That's definitely a planet. Or a moon or something. Uh, I guess I should just go forwards. <laughs> It's dark. I don't have a flashlight. I don't have anything. Hmm. Hello? Anyone there? What the hell happened here? They never turn away. Any horror game set in space pretty much has to have things written in blood or blood-like substances on the wall, don't they? You just kind of have to. Serrano arrival, zero days. Serrano. Reigning chess champion. <laughs> Slow panel cleanup. Ah, these are like uh, assigning different jobs to different people, different responsibilities. Airlock check. Emma, I think that says. Do not use permanent marker on a race board. Hmm. Is blood permanent? All these doors are locked. Pick up flashlight. Wait, where is it? I don't even... S I don't even see it. Wait, is that like a quest? I thought it was a pop-up because I was in front of a flashlight. Ah! It's reminding me because I missed it. <coughs> Ah, thank God. <laughs> I hope I don't have to worry about battery usage or anything like that. This game's really good looking. Oh, even the door that I came from is locked. That's weird. Meet me in the usual place. Bring a drink.
Ugh. Hmm. What is this? Is like dirt or sand in there? Are we not on a spaceship? I thought we were, but maybe we're on a planet. It's hard to tell. I can barely see anything, but this kind of looks like buildings on a planet, and that's the ground. Alternatively, it could just be a little spot of dirt for growing stuff, but it doesn't really look like a garden or anything like that. Anyway, what is this? <laughs> what is this goo? I'm guessing that symbol's important. The two rings. It's in the logo of the game. And on the ship in two places already. There and... wasn't it? Uh... Yep, there too. Research lab and infirmary and greenhouse. Oh, they move. Probably shouldn't get close to it, but I am curious. Are they gonna grab me? No? Oh, Jesus. Is that just a real big one? I know it's supposed to be a tentacle thing, but it kind of looks like a huge tongue. If I sound unenthusiastic, I'm not, I'm just... It's usually hard for horror in games to scare me, unless it's done in like really particular ways, like Soma. Plethron. Lightweight fertilizer. Something intense... Uh, den density? Intensity? Slow release, nutrients, additives, benefits, your plants for multiple growing seasons. Suitable for most plant types. Nice. the look of this. I don't know what it is exactly, but I've seen it in at least movies and TV shows and games and stuff like that around spaceship type stuff. Maybe it's a type of insulation? I don't know, but it's freaking beautiful. if all these growths lead to a central place. Like if they all grew out of a place or a thing, you know? Add to inventory. Uh, how do I use it? Oh, I guess... I don't think it's a, a weapon. I think it's just a tool, so I don't think I just hold it in my hand in general. It'll probably pop up that I can use it if I get somewhere where I need to use it. Right, there's no, like... Yeah, they, these are all the controls. There's no inventory screen or anything like that.
When we saw our hands, by the way, it looked like we had some symbols on them, I think. Maybe the rings are on our hands as well. Ooh, tomatoes. If I can't go any of these ways, I probably have to use the crowbar on the malfunctioning door. Pry it open. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do have the rings on my right hand, it looks like. Flashlight doesn't work anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. What was that? Shine, folks. Is everybody okay? I almost spilled my coffee. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check the readings, but that may have been our biggest quake yet. Standard procedure. Newhart, you know what to do. If there's any critical damage to the base, let me know. Yeah, okay, uh, no problem. Dr. Van Buren, you will assist me at the landing site for the Cyrano. Declan, you're on comms. Find any system issues, relay them to Shane. Aye, aye, Captain. Switch to a private frequency, Declan. No chatter on open channels. Over and out. Private channel time. So we are. And what better way to the start planet. the day than assessing possible life-threatening damage from minor seismic activity? Hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> That's what I've been told. I think I saw a passcode on the back of this thing. Good look out there, sport. Dad. Move the view with the mouse to focus on the interaction points. Oh, I see. Like the flip over here. I should memorize this. 0509. So this is me, Shane Newert, engineering. We believe, uh, hold on, can I, yeah, I can zoom in. We believe that healthy, productive, and enduring life on Earth results from the correct management of something resources, correct management of its resources, probably. In government, public, and private projects around the globe, we are leveraging new technologies to provide the best solutions. What do you think that QR code is for? Hmm, can't seem to scan it. I don't know if it's not a real QR code or probably more likely. I think it's just not high quality enough. It's pretty blurry. Level one, dear uh, Orochi group, Orochi group. Report misplaced access cards to security immediately. Reliable, responsible, revolutionary. The Orochi Group and our subsidiaries are not only world leaders, we are led by the world. Our promise to you is that our products and services will rise to the challenges of a changing landscape as we race into the future together. Oh, you read like a text version of it. I love just reading stuff like this, just picking up objects in the environment and just reading the text that's on them, even if it's just like an advertisement or just a company's, you know, slogan and bullshit.
We can see our feet, by the way, and our hands. So we're not just a floating camera. Ooh. Dear Dad, I have a confession I want to tell... Scribbled, scribbled, scribbled. <laughs> I've already rewritten this letter six times. I'll probably rewrite it several more. I have a lot of time before I can actually send it to you. I'll put it in plain. I'm not in Antarctica. That expedition doesn't exist. Or if it does, I'm not on it. I went a little further. I went to Mars. I hope you can forgive me. The deception is not a slight. The company takes their secrecy very seriously. In fact, you will already probably have seen me again in person before I'm allowed to send this to you. I want you to hear it from me. I want you to know I love you. What I really want, uh, what I really want to tell you. Oh, it's unfinished? Yeah. So we're on Mars. Phobos and Deimos, those might be... Hold on, I'm going to Google this. Those might be moons? Yeah, those are the two moons of Mars. Phobos and Deimos. By the way, I noticed when we saw our hands that we still have those symbols on our hands. Oh, I forgot to look at my computer. Oh, also this. What is this? Martian rock? Why did you keep it? Ah, please enter your personal code to reset your security credentials. Right. Um. Oh, five, oh, nine? Was it? Ah, good. <clears throat> Let's start with the first one. Memo, Declan, security update. To all personnel, uh, please be aware of the new security update that's taking place tomorrow. You might be stuck in your room for a while. Write down the code somewhere so you'll remember it. That sounds important. Solar site programming. Good morning there, sport. <laughs> sport. <laughs> Wilcox was kind enough to let you sleep in a little today, but that also means that Dr. Van Buren is tagging along on an EVA to the Serrano landing site. So I'll put a pin on logging the issue with command until he's back. I know Lucas has been tinkering with some of the bio-gauge code, so check with him first. Plus, you'll have a chance to catch up with the doctor. Make some small talk. That's in reply to... Hey Declan, can't find anything listed for troubleshooting the solar array's coding. I've run diagnostics each time and nothing out of the ordinary. It's starting to become a daily thing. Time to file the issue with command, I think. Even if they can shoot me a workaround, it's better than constantly triggering auxiliary power. The Serrano landing site. In the dream, I doubt it was as simple as a dream, but in whatever we saw before, it mentioned that the Serrano spaceship was returning. In zero days. Dr. Newert, it's me. There's been an update to your comprehensive NDA. Please log in at your earliest convenience. This is only a courtesy. All changes have already gone into effect. Head of HR, Manticore. Invictus mission, survey of microbial life on Mars. The rule of two is an exciting concept. When we discover one example of a phenomenon in the cosmos, it is an anomaly. Given the vastness of the universe, if two examples are found, it implies there are many more millions, billions, trillions. As of now, we are only certain of life on Earth. An anomaly. But all we have to do is find a second. Any life will do. Even primitive alien microbes, even fossils of microbial life billions of years dead. 
that one finding will open up a universe teeming with life. All we have to do is get to two. Okay, confirming my ID bypassed security for my room. Doors unlocked now. Rest of the team's out dusting the landing pad, and Dr. Bokolva's apparently deep into her biocultivation duties. So, I guess that means you have the base all to yourself. And where are you? Once more, I venture into the great unknown. On duty at the satellite dish, and currently communicating, which is technically my job. Kind of. Yeah, everything as it is right now is as it was in the dream. This is the same. I mean, without the blood, but, you know. Have you seen the... something? <laughs> oh. Oh no. That's probably the greenhouse over there. Security protocols greeting crewmate. As a member of the Invictus team and an employee of Manticore Orochi, there are security protocols that you must not fail to obey. Any Orochi facility, including this Mars base, is sectioned by security clearance. Not every employee may go into every section. Your ID card contains a number denoting your level of security clearance. Your ID card is necessary to access all doors, sectors, and computers of a given level of security clearance. Do not... Do anything bad. <laughs> Given the nature of the work at Manticore and Orochi, these protocols are in place to protect you from catastrophic mishaps and consequences. If you are unsure of your clearance or of these protocols, contact your superior. I'm sure in the future we will never ever be going into a room we're not supposed to have security clearance to go into. Hey, what's up with the lights? Uh, yeah, getting some odd spikes in power as the batteries kick in. Hey, you, you just hang tight while I do your job for you, okay? No, have a coffee. No, really, take, take a load off. Just dirt? Just dirt, I guess. It's some dark in here. Can't turn on my flashlight. I guess I don't have one right now. Clean equipment after use. Signed, everyone. <laughs> oh. Oh, and that's a flashlight. Come here. Uh, can you check your bio gauge and see if your daily objectives have been updated? Copy that. Access journal using tab. Well, I'm sorry, but before that, I want to look at this. This is so cool. I love just being on Mars. In a horror game. Just being here. Sorry, but there's just something really fucking cool about a combination of horror and sci-fi to me. Especially horror sci-fi that's set on a spaceship or somewhere in space. Somewhere other than Earth. Okay. Crap. What's up? I, uh, I seem to have misplaced my bio gauge. Josie saw it in the lab on her way out. 
Tell me to tell you. Better get it before you do anything else. Speaking of which... That should do it. I fixed the lounge door to the lab. Move faster by holding left shift while moving forward. Ah, now I can sprint. But first, I want to look at everything. What do we got going on here in the kitchen? What kind of space foods do we have? These are dispensers for, <laughs> uh, for well, food. Sorry, I'm just looking at the text. Everyone says welcome to Mars on the little whatever that is. Maybe you pull that and the food comes out. Almost like an insult. <laughs> like welcome to Mars every time you eat this shit. Spiced fruit cereal, concentrated nutrient. Spiced fruit cereal. Those are both spiced fruit cereal? Okay. Sp that's spiced fruit cereal too? Basic. <laughs> Love me some basic. Welcome to Mars. Low and dark roast coffee. If you don't get any coffee, blame the witch. Oh, I can actually get you coffee. Put up this sticky note about the witch. You like my drawing? I made it last night. Hmm. Do I like poking fun at a shared paranoid delusion while everyone is tired and isolated from human contact on Mars? Okay, killer. Remind me not to talk to you before you've had your coffee. A shared delusion. So it's something everybody has seen. Hmm. I don't think it's a delusion. Omen of things to come. I love all the different buttons on this thing. Ground, fine ground. D, 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 and triple D, I guess, for the roast level? I'm not sure what the top thing is. 10, 100, or 1,000 what? Maybe it's a temperature. <laughs> 10 degrees, 100, or 1,000. <laughs> Vaporize that coffee. Went for the darkest roast? Okay, Shane. Consume. I can get more? Oh my god. Is there a limit? Or can I really just stand here and just have a heart attack from caffeine? I'm gonna keep drinking. Something's gonna happen. Maybe. I didn't count, but I just had a lot of coffee, and nothing happened. Oh well. Have a nice day. Magnet. What is that? That's ominous. <laughs> what does that mean? Magnet. Well, what should I eat today? Bacon and eggs. Not an easy choice. Savory oatmeal. Huh. Uh. Oh, what are, what are these? Antibiotics, antibiotics, vitamins, vitamins, coffee, tea with lemon, omegas, omegas, vegetables, beef, chocolate pudding, pineapple, peaches, fruitcake, health bar, cereal. Oh, it's all powder. It's all powder. On pain of death, do your dishes. Yeah, I can't have the spiced fruit cereal. What a shame. Savory oatmeal sounds better than bacon and eggs. Savory oatmeal looks good. Can only have one of each, it looks like. I can move it around, yes. Examine it. Maybe just one for the road. Oh, 
Ooh, this is somebody's leftover meal, I guess. So what does a full meal consist of? A couple of compressed bars, some cookie things, and then pellets or something. Pellets of stuff. Mmm, <laughs> space food. It has a Rochi letterhead, so it is official. Replacement photo ID pictures for your approval, Commander Wilcox. Management. You clean up pretty nice, Delapore. Approved. Industrial Ventilation Design Guidebook. Fun reading. Oh. Oh, heck yeah. Volume 1 through 8 of Strength of Materials. World History, 1 through 10. Psychological Analysis, Fire Safety Regulations, Corporate Training Directory, Studio 29, Practice Directory, whatever that is. Okay, that's just all educational stuff, but here's some other stuff. Oblivion, Legends of Jazz, Heritage, Run, Gate, Gateway, something, Stairway Up, Dictator and Joker, Steering Wheel, <laughs> Steering Wheel, Athletic, uh, Whispering in the Mountains, Regret, no, Target, number one, something, Butler's Notes, Fisherman, Investigator, Sunrise, Wanderer, Salvation, Banner of Love, Running Sea. Of course, the books on American history have the American flag on them. These remind me. I need to watch the show Russian Doll. I've heard it's good, but never seen it. Living area, research lab, greenhouse, infirmary. Sorry, I completely forgot where they said I'm supposed to pick up the thing. Isn't there a objective reminder? Oh. Hmm. Nothing happens. I guess for an objective reminder, I probably need the bio gauge itself, don't I? Hmm. So weird. Deja vu thing. There was a stuck door in the dream I had. It's not important. It's, it's just weird. Uh, you're forgetting the last three times something malfunctioned in this over-engineered campsite. Strange coincidence, yes. Can we turn the lights on in here? Dear God, it's dark. Oh, this place is really eerie. I want to find the bio gauge and then check out this place. The robotics? Piece of a spine. A manufactured one, I think. I don't think that's a real spine.
<laughs> snacks. <laughs> World's tiniest little cookies, question mark? They look like cookies, but they very well might not be. Probably nutrition discs. Touchstone. Scan to connect. I can't do that without the bio gauge, though, right? Yeah, scan that thing in there. I can't get in there, though. Oh my god, that thing's moving. It's alive? Right, well, I guess I do need to look around the place before I find the bio gauge, because I can't find the bio gauge. Uh, let's check out the note I saw on the ground. Next to the green screen. Oh, it's a script. Fade in. Interior. Antarctic Outpost Z-17. Day. Antarctic Outpost Engineering Area near a window overlooking an icy hillside and clear sky. The team is standing. Team. Greetings from the South Pole. Wilcox. This is Commander Josie Wilcox of the Antarctica Post Z-17. We're here testing solutions for plant growth in the harshest conditions on Earth. Exterior. Ice flow. An icy beach area overlooking several ice flows where penguins splash amongst the waves. Delapore is kneeling near the water, taking in the beautiful scenery. Delapore. As you can see, it's penguin mating season, so we're getting all kinds of visitors to the outpost. A penguin enters the ice flow from the right. Delapore continued. This little guy is a chinstrap penguin. While a chinstrap penguin is still thriving, its natural habitat is threatened each year. Exterior facility in distance. An Orochi facility covered in fresh layer of snow operates in the background, sending up clouds of steam. Newert stands, gesturing behind him at the amazing engineering. Newert? Brr. But, as you can see, Orochi's patented Antarctic superconductive coils burrow deep into the poles, causing steady ice flows even during these hot summer months. What is that? It's like they're contained within these things, like these are little protective barriers for samples of something. Hmm. Poor frog. There's some notes that you can read, but you can't pick them up. Mission Control wants you to crunch some numbers on the potential future visit to the two moons. Think over the logistics and of both an Earth-launched and a Mars-launched mission. Work some rough calculations for both scenarios. Make this a priority. Also have a look at the moon orbits. Phobos should be 1.4 Martian diameters out with a 7.66 hour orbit and Deimos at 3.5 diameters and 30.35 hours but mission control says they showed up as significant significantly closer and faster might be a glitch I'll leave you to it Josie <laughs> 
So we definitely came to Mars and found some shit that we weren't supposed to. Unearthed some horrible ancient gods or infections or something. Who drew that and why? So much science. Ooh. Is that it? There's a reset button on the back. No good. I think there's a reset button somewhere. It's just my luck. I need to find something that can fit in there. God damn it, I need a paper clip. <laughs> Declan, I found the bio gauge, but it won't turn on. I need to reset it. Uh, find something small and thin. A pen should work. Already done. There. Got it working. Great. <laughs> you should be able to reboot the security system now. Just scan the servers with the bio gauge. I love how... I don't know, physical everything is. How you can pick up objects and move them around and read them and they're highly detailed and press buttons on them. I love it. I didn't mean to close that actually. I should probably read that. Right click to scan the environment with the bio gauge. Objectives. Restart the security system. Scan to connect to the security servers. Shows my heart rate and my inventory. Uh, well, I want to get the lights up so let's just Try to do this. Nancy Technologies Premier Security System and Software Connect. Connect to this device. What is this device? Did I somehow select the server? Ah, oh, I can like full screen it if I want. Connect. System is malfunctioning. Reboot system. Sure. Okay. Whew. The quake probably knocked the panels out of alignment. This has been an ongoing issue. I'll have to adjust the solar panels manually. <laughs> 